Anansi, a cunning and clever spider, is well known throughout Africa. He is small but resourceful, using his wit to overcome challenges and teach valuable lessons. Anansi's adventures begin in a lush, vibrant African forest where he lives among other animals. Anansi once desired to possess all the world's wisdom, which was held by Nyam, the sky god. Nyam agreed to give Anansi the wisdom if he could catch the most dangerous animals in the forest. The python, the leopard, the hornets, and the fairy. Anansi found the python and began talking loudly to himself. Is the python longer than the palm tree? I must measure it. Curious, the python agreed to be measured. Anansi tied the python to the palm tree, capturing it. Next, Anansi dug a deep pit and covered it with branches and leaves. When the leopard came by, he fell into the pit. Anansi then safely secured him. Anansi filled a calabash with water and poured it over a hornet's nest, then suggested they take refuge in another calabash. When they did, Anansi quickly sealed it, capturing the hornets. For the final task, Anansi carved a wooden doll and covered it with sticky sap. He placed it where the fairy would find it. When the fairy touched the doll, she got stuck, and Anansi captured her easily. Anansi returned to Nyam with all the captured creatures. Impressed by Anansi's cleverness, Nyam granted him all the wisdom of the world. Anansi then decided to share the wisdom with humanity. Anansi climbed to the top of a tall tree and released the wisdom into the wind, allowing it to spread across the world. From that day on, Anansi became a beloved hero, known for his intelligence and resourcefulness. Anansi continued to have many more adventures, always using his cleverness to overcome obstacles and help others. His stories were passed down through generations, teaching important lessons about wisdom, cunning, and the power of intellect. Image prompt, Anansi in various scenes helping other animals resolving conflicts and teaching lessons with children and elders sitting around a fire listening to the tales being told